wait we have to set up one more thing is it better that is a question we're gonna solve this later on because i have a new light over here guys and i'm gonna test it out but today we're gonna talk about topic that recently i had with some and with someone from my family and this is about 8k and a lot of people i think understand it wrongly what is 8k and what 8k can do but before we get to the vlog first coffee my favorite straws i want to show you guys what i want to buy I want to uh, equip myself with something that's going to be flexible when I'm doing vlogging. And recently I found something called phone cage. <laughs> I would never expect that we, not this one. What the hell is it? A phone cage. Uh, yeah, kind of. So I didn't expect that you can even buy something like this. But yeah, I'm going with this. I'm going to put it on a tripod. So in the case if I will not have like a mm, camera with me, I'm gonna use this one. The important thing is here to have option to mount accessories. So we have a mic, we have like a four uh, like a mounts that we can place some kind of accessories here. Okay, cool, I'm gonna order it. We're gonna see how it's gonna perform. But it's very interesting, it's very cheap. So why not to have it? let's order this and i will give you also a link down below this look kind of sick The thing about 8K TVs and overall 8K resolution is that people approach to this wrongly. This is my opinion, but I think it's correct. And I will explain you a little bit why. So I see and I hear that a lot of YouTubers are saying that we don't need 8K. This is one of the wrongest approach to this ever. I think that 8K it's remarkable and i think we should definitely someday improve and transfer from 4k to 8k so how do i approach to this i spoke recently with some from my family who was actually talking about buying uh, a new tv and he was like well we don't need 8k because 4k is more than enough a human eye doesn't see uh, more than 4k i remember when people are saying that when we had a full hd that we don't need to have a 4k now we have at the same topic jumping from 4k to 8k my opinion uh, referring to that that uh, the human eyes doesn't see 8k it's really really wrong approach if we talk about tv imagine that you have a TV that has 75 inches and up, you're gonna see a lot of pixels. And the thing is that if you're buying a TV, you want to have a smooth and clear experience. So the thing is that if you are using eyes, you see everything organic. It's not based on pixels. So looking at this from the perspective that we don't need 8K, because resolution 4K is more than enough and human eye seeing like everything in 4K is a little bit wrong approach. The idea is with higher resolution uh, TVs, 
is to have this smooth experience because even if you play 4k image you're gonna experience a much better smoother result your eyes if they are sharp you don't have any like corrections and you know problems with eye you're gonna easily see the 8k quality uh, on the larger TVs of course you're not buying 8k on like a small 45 uh, inches TV and sitting far away will be a little bit like um, you know unwise but if you're buying a larger TV then this window that you are looking at will give you much nicer and smoother result and actually it will be closer to this what you are able to see because you're not gonna see those pixels because right now I try to buy a TV probably I'm gonna go with 4k because it's cheaper uh, but overall I have a plan to buy also 8k when they get cheaper and put it to my bedroom so I can experience this amazing quality and if you have a money you definitely should go with the 8k so referring to this 8k as an overall resolution do we need this or do we not need this recently I was thinking about Nikon uh, Z8 to buy it well, I'll start considering this more like uh, for my post-production work so I can start zooming, I can do some kind of effect even if this material will be, for example, released in 4K. Overall, 8K for me is definitely a future and it's definitely something we should jump in someday because really the difference is visible. For example, also referring to this 4K, I have a Apple Studio display monitor. I'm working on this monitor for a very long time. Apple, without the reason, didn't put 5K on 27. They knew that to give people this smooth result, they have to increase the pixels on, in those monitors. That's why, for example, in 32 inches, they have 6K because they know that people are gonna see those pixels and it's not gonna be so sharp. And for example, me, I'm using this on full resolution and it's always perfect and I love it and it's so clear so nice that even if I see those objects around me that are not so sharp what I have on my monitors I still am easy to see this and notice the huge difference so the we, the organic feel of what and this what we see on the screen is two different things our eyes for how we don't have any like issue health issue with our eyes are able to see this image so yeah, I think TV's 8K is a remarkable step and you're going above 75 hour ago only 8K. This is, this is only one way for me. Uh, and yeah, with the resolution for like overall like a recording, uh, from the recording perspective, 8K is also very good to have. When we have this 8K TV, we can also experience this 8K resolution. So we can play 4K and have a blast watching the higher, much higher quality image, smooth image on our skin without pixels, but also you can jump to 8K resolution and see even more. I remember like vloggers are making vlogs, do we see the difference between, and try to compare, between Full HD and 4K? Well, if you have a crappy monitor, you're not gonna see the difference, but if you have a good monitor, or in this case, good TV, you're gonna see the difference. I see the difference on my Apple Stable display. 5K is a blast and everyone who experienced this will definitely understand. Someone who is watching Full HD or have a Full HD monitor or some cheap 4K will never understand that feeling. It's completely different. Uh, 8K resolution is future someday, but 8K TVs for sure now with a good quality 4K, it's a way to go. I try to explain this to my a family member that yes it is a difference this is the way I will go definitely I see that a lot of people are just you know catch some thoughts and it's like no we don't need a 4k because we don't a human eye doesn't see 4k no human eye is easy in this little box see more resolution than 4k and as I said you can have 4k in a small on a small TV or small monitor and you can have it on huge TV and this 4K in some point is just not enough to present the image in a good, nice quality without the pixels. That's why we are jumping to 8K. 
this is the this is the goal of tv to have this clear smooth experience even with the lower resolution but also we are able to produce later on much more with the 8k and show much more i hope i cleared a little bit this idea of having uh, 8k tvs and that is not directly connected so much with just the resolution from the input but is the, the matter here is to have this smooth nice experience i'm not saying that i am always right but i really rethink that and it's for me 8k i hope we're gonna have all 8k tvs and i hope we're gonna have uh, 8k images on, on those tvs shortly someday shortly we don't even have 4k right now good quality i was speaking with uh, my friend uh, he is working in tv and he said man we are able to send this signal but the quality is still not there they not they are not able to send so much of data that we have in like from like professional cameras to the to the screen we are watching so it has to be super quality internet and you know then we can just watch something like uh like high quality image on it i hope you like it like and subscribe guys stay with me links down below if you want to support me to all my equipment cameras i'm using uh pixel uh a 7 pro i wanted to buy 8 pro but i decided to not go with it because after watching so many tests uh this is the literally from the camera's perspective very similar thing and actually 7 pro outperform 8 pro <laughs> in some area so pointless pointless really pointless and of course gopro still i'm playing a little bit with uh, um, how record all those vlogs it's complicated sometimes you you're gonna see if you will start doing this it's really so many different scenarios that you have to think of and also uh, you try to be as much as possible uh easy with everything this should be just you know i'm pulling out the stuff and re it's ready to roll so i have to buy a lot of accessories lamps and everything so yeah it's a process it's a process interesting process i like it it's kind of challenge for me uh so yeah guys i'm going to best buy uh you have an amazing uh i have a weekend right now but i don't know when i'm gonna release this but you have a amazing day and yeah like and subscribe stay with me links down below as i say to support me and i will see you next one See ya.